Kachao Mabo and Monique Mela went viral in 2020 after Monique leaked a video of Kachao Mabo apparently or supposedly cheating. To demand the fucking truth. So you're going to tell me or you're going to fucking leave as I said. It's as simple as that. You know where your priorities lie. You fucking decide. Yes, I gave you an ultimatum. It's a shit one. Sorry for you. You fucking ruined my life. So now you decide. Okay, it's Nikita. Nikita who? Murray. So you slept with Nikita Murray? Yeah. That's the ultimatum you're putting to me that if I tell you exactly what you want to know that I get to be a father yes. to my son every day of his life. percent. You are so correct, my no friend. No matter what, that this isn't going to go to court and you're not going to be trying to, like, exactly what this has been for. No, I asked you to respect me. Yes, you yeah. understood that very clearly at some point. Yeah. You've destroyed you my say, entire yes. life. You gave me a fucking STD that is destroying my fucking womb and my chances of having another child. So don't fucking ask me about the ultimatum that I'm giving. So this girl Mon Monique claimed that Katlejo gave her an STD and was cheating on her with some other girl called Nikita. And apparently this STD, I've never heard of an STD that stops you from having children. Like that actually prevents you from conceiving. I have no idea what this is, but that's her claim. And on top of that, she used, well, seemingly used the child against Ukatlejo. Well, the couple, or should I say ex-couple, ended up going through a very lengthy legal battle which ended in 2022 January. The Cape Town Magistrate Court set the, the case aside and on top of that, Katlejo during that entire period lost a couple of job opportunities. For example, he was temporarily suspended from his job as presenter of the morning show Espresso on SAPC3 and Outsurance, which was the gig that got him the most fame, cut all his ads. So this man had basically no job. He was basically fighting this battle without cash. In the case, Nikita Murray uh, had a lawyer release her side of the story and confirm that she was tested for an SED and the results came back negative. Now, if you ask me, I'm not sure if you can use that as evidence like i've never heard of a case where someone has to prove that they don't have an std i mean that's kind of fucked i've no i've never heard of this like a case where you actually have to present that you are clean like what what the std has nothing to do with this case i've i don't even understand because the case was originally about domestic abuse so what nikita's std had to do with it is beyond me and that brings us to today, 2023 August, when Monique Miller, but this time appearing by herself in what looks to be her bathroom. After taking a shit or whatever girls do in the bathroom, she decided that she wasn't done in the toilet. She was going to shit all over Gatlejo once more, but this time on other claims. So post trial and court magistrate, everything, Gatlejo came back on his feet he got his job back at Espresso. Sorry, dude. <laughs> a lot has changed. Uh, on top of that, he just recently got a new deal with uh, SCPC3 as a presenter for the new show, new game show called Deal or No Deal and has a couple of other ventures, like he has a lot of jobs, basically. So, on top of that, she posted this video with her grievances. Comes from women. Interesting times, interesting times. And for those that say that there are other ways and forms that you can deal with this, babes, where have y'all been? It's been three years. Have I said anything for the three years? I've been quiet. I have been silent because every day I wake up and I think, you know what, maybe this person is actually going to be who they say they are on the socials, you know, when they're like, oh God, it's telling me to do better and I'm the best and preaching the Bible, Yilda. Then I'm like, okay, maybe it's going to, it's still going to kick in, you know, like it's still going to, y'all, y'all. So yes. 
I would also like for us to resolve this amicably. I'm not even upset. Like, I'm just like, when we gotta go to maintenance court for something so simple, and I'm up unrepresented, and you've gotta lawyer yourself up with four attorneys, those four attorneys alone can cover your child's school fees for the year, bruh. Make it make sense. Like, y'all, there cannot be so much people out there walking around this country with such little logic. Like, really. And if you, and if you don't want to, fine, but we'll accept that it's going to be a different school. It's not going to be the very freaking expensive school that you want. Like, ah, y'all, help. <laughs> just to summarize, she just said that she's been holding her tongue for three years. On top of that, she is questioning his public persona, claiming that he's fake. On top of that, she's complaining about child maintenance, basically just school fees and, well, just general payment. So uh, what she claimed in the video is that Katleho has been going to magistrate court or maintenance court. For some reason, he has four attorneys, which is kind of surprising, four. He has four attorneys according to her and she thinks that the the fees that he's paying to these attorneys could be used as funds for their child's school fees now just so you understand what's happening or why she brought this up i've seen online people have been talking about this and apparently U Kat and monique have been co-parenting and paying 50 50. now 50 percent of the school fees is Monique's uh, responsibility and 50% is Kat's. Now the problem, according to her, arose when Kat wanted to take their child into another school, a private school, a more expensive private school. And she is saying, why do I have to pay an increased amount on school in on a school that I don't want my child to go to? She also goes on to mention Jessica, who is uh, apparently, it's Katleho Mabo's current partner and about conversations they had and how she just defends him regardless of well, her facts, you know, her truth. You know what the crazy thing is, is that I thought this was normal, like the situation with baby daddy, until I met like an influx of men that are willingly taking full responsibility for the kids. Not all, but there are men, there are guys here in my DMs, in real life, that are doing the most for their kids, that don't want their kids to suffer all the baby mamas. And here you are living, you are flourishing, yet you want your child to suffer, you are letting your child suffer despite me. It's pathetic. And then you get people like Jessica, that's the new current name, apparently, that will defend someone just for the sake of defending them not even reading properly just like i'm gonna defend this is my man's okay, no, get your man's girl. guys i don't think like like the part that i posted is not even the worst that's not even that's just like something that i need like intervention with right now you know but man's will send his five-year-old child in like three-year-old clothing and mind you our child is really big not big but he's quite tall he has no shame to send his own child to, to go to the school and drop the child in the school with pants and it's winter that don't even fit the child that's like a three-quarter and like a... so i want to protect my child's identity and not posting these things i'll see if there's a way that i can but like, but you are out here styled on whatever magazine, I don't know the names of the magazines, but you, you don't want the same for, like, for your child. And finally, she also posted on her Instagram, uh, specifically her Instagram stories, where she told the world basically all the grievances she has with Ukatle Homabo. And from the sounds of it, she has more grievances with her than I do with home affairs. First, she posted a... A screenshot of her conversation with Jessica who as we know now is Katya Homawo's current partner at this part you can just pause if you want to read everything but this is what she was talking about this conversation 
So I'm not gonna go through the process of reading this because honestly, I don't even care, you know? So pause here if you wanna read the entire thing, but I'm gonna move on. The The second one is one, the school fees one, the school fees situation. Even making a joke on how deal or no deal could just donate to her or donate to a school, she'll just send the, the bank details. And if not, his fans could. I don't know what this woman does for a living because looking through her Instagram, it's not clear. But yeah, she's not a comedian. That's all I'm saying. Uh, the third one is about his earning. And as you can see, claiming, she claims that he earns 10 times more than her. And she's also accusing him of leaving her and her child out to dry. And this kind of confused me because she has 25,000 followers, she's well known, I'm, I'm pretty sure she has connections. So I don't think he left you out to dry, but I don't know enough information to actually know for sure. So I'm just, I'm just gonna reserve my opinion on this one. In this one, she claimed that he was lying in the court about his earnings. Basically saying that he wasn't keeping a pee when he said he'll be unemployed from August and even tagged all of his employers and I mean everyone and she also ends it with this statement saying that she's willing to accept any and all consequences that might come her way now most people are on Katleho's side they are most people are basically defending Katleho on his on his behalf despite Katleho being silent and not putting out any statement as of now like he has said nothing he's gone quiet he's muted some of his comments on some of his more popular videos but people want to know his side of the story but currently Gatejo is silent so this story might drag out a bit longer until his statement comes out and as always I've been your boy Bucci make sure that you subscribe hit the like you know share with your friends people who don't know about the situation comment your thoughts on it you know are you are you on his side against him and why see you next time thank you for watching up until this point peace